Finally, VLAN aware Wi-Fi. So I've been waiting and waiting for the Unify Lite access point that it has Wi-Fi 6 to finally come out. I've been wanting VLAN aware Wi-Fi for quite some time. So this video is about the Unify GUI change for VLANs. To do a tutorial video of the entire setup, I would just be plagiarizing the work done by Lawrence Systems and the hookup. Seriously, if you're not watching those channels, you're missing out. The links to their channels and specifically the videos I use to make my firewall rules and the rest of the setup are all linked below. These videos also do a good job of explaining why you want to do the segmentation, but another good video is from Twit Tech Podcast Network, which goes into even more details to why you want to do this. I had to watch their videos numerous times to get my head wrapped around the concept and methods, and I ran into Unify's GUI changing some things up. So that's the reason behind this video. But first, a quick summary using the clips from the hookup and Lawrence system videos to kind of get this thing kicked off. And then I'll go into my own footage of what the GUI change actually. The hookup does an amazing job of naming convention and firewall rule organization with an implicit allow and explicit deny structure. You also get tips for groups, aliases and PFSense, uh, for IoT devices, their IPs and their ports. Also tips like enabling IGMP snooping to make the network more efficient and the mention of using MDNS. If you're 100% on Unify equipment, you need not look any further. His videos have you set. But in my case, I'm also running PFSense as my router and firewall. And this is where Lawrence Tech's videos are a huge save. Lawrence then covers setting up VLANs, aliases, etc., in PFSense, but also very importantly, the Avahi package to enable MDNS traffic between the selected network segments that you choose. This is where I did some mix and match with the hookups, naming conventions, groups, aliases, roles, and also with the settings and, and methodologies of Lawrence Tech. The frustration happened with the Unify controller software. I built it out on CentOS 7 in a virtual machine, RIP CentOS. And the new GUI is clean, but changes some things. In the Lawrence Tech vid, you can see how under advanced, you can choose VLANs. In the newer GUI, we have to do some things differently here. I did some dodgy janky network stuff on there that worked, but I didn't really like it and I reversed it. And ultimately, this is what I settled on in the following. And so here online, you can see we go to go to uh, settings and uh, advanced features. You add your VLAN network here. So you're going to give it its name and your VLAN ID. And per the other video guidance, it even enable the snooping. And then when you go to Wi-Fi, then you can add. In my case, I'm already maxed out. So I'm just going to go edit here to show you the GUI and you put in the information and now in the drop down you'll have that vlan information available for that ssid and that was the little gui change and so now screen recording on my OnePlus plus six oh there's my pooch uh you can see i started to ping and just validate some of my settings um, i would change networks uh do a ping change network again do a ping, so on and so forth, and also start try to start casting on my Chromecasts that have now been put in this IoT VLAN, and uh, just just validate that the MDNS across these otherwise isolated VLANs were working, but other ports, other features, um, file transfers, so on and so forth, were not working, uh, were being denied, so. Um, really excited to finally have done this to my network, even though I know uh, the odds are some type of threat actually acts on these things. It's, it's just nice to, to uh, mitigate things as best as possible, and I just like learning these things. Thank you.